Hey everyone, Diego Marquez here, your friend in sales. Today I want to share with you a tip that has been truly helpful for me when I'm when I'm doing my telemarketing cold calling. So maybe it help can help you guys out. One of the things that kind of stops you from calling people, and pay attention when I'm telling you stops you because I'm actually speaking from myself from my own experiences. You are kind of. Um, anxious about some sort of reply that you might be getting because you're talking with someone that hasn't met you before, right? Why wouldn't you be willing to help the, that person out, right? But he doesn't know you. And you don't know that person well as well. So you might uh, come, might having some rudeness coming towards your way. So you need to deal how to deal with this because if you start looking at this from a statistical point of view, you will start noticing that the overwhelming majority of people are not rude you'll notice that out of like a bunch of people that you call every single day, it's just like a couple of them are a couple of douchebags. So you have to deal with those in order to not affect the way that you uh, talk to the, the next guy or girl in the next phone call. And this is how I do this. You need to practice how to deal with rude people so that when you approach people, you are like uh, calling from a nice perspective, like being uh, respectful and very well articulated and being coming from a kind of a like a cool place, right? And just trying to help people, right? When you start uh, sensing that that person is trying to like immediately shifting the thing towards being rude, you put him right back in their places. This is, this is how you have to deal with the situation. And not by being rude, even if you have to be rude, but like in the beginning, like you have to have like some, let's say, pre-made responses. Whereas when they tell you something, you kind of already expect it. So I'll give you an example. Let's say someone is telling you something like, oh, so you're calling me because you're selling life insurance, right? And I'm, and I'm saying, I'm not selling you anything because I haven't met you yet. And it usually starts with the first step. What do you think? So when you ask for something like this, right? The guy's not expecting that because he's expecting you to fold. And what I want to convey in this message is that you never fold to anyone. You are a respectful human being. You are a stand up human person. No one has a right to put you down, right? So. This is a defense mechanism. People that are like ill-mannered and like trying to like put every, everyone down is because they are insecure and they are not expecting people to like face them up front. So when they do, when they like, it's like the bully, right? You, you're meeting the bully like straight in the face and punching him. He's not expecting that, right? So when he like is getting like loud mouth or anything like that, right? You respond. And the way for you to become a professional is you have pre-made responses so that any time that someone tells you something that is kind of, well, offline, let's say, it, it's like it, it comes automatically. It's some, some sort of, what happens to me now is that it's like preconditioned responses. It's, it immediately, immediately comes out of my mouth. I don't even need to think about it anymore because it's so kind of, it just, it just comes out, right? And every time that I use some of these pre-made responses, what I've noticed is that there's a silence. They're not expecting that. The bully is usually expecting people to fold. And you made the first step by cold calling someone that is not expecting you. That already shows some confidence out of your, your part. And it's like a subconscious thing. The guy doesn't know you, but he's like, this guy is confident because he's calling me, right? So let's do the the kind of dysfunctional thing which is to be a bully this is how they think right because they're insecure they can't do what you do right so they are dysfunctional and then you put them in their place right so you're like subjugating the bully like on the telephone and he's not expecting he or she doesn't matter so this is what you do right you always need to have like a two a toolbox of responses so what i want you to do is start thinking about this is something that i did and this is different in every language i could do this in english language but if maybe you come from india or from africa some some other some other country and there are some different ways of insulting people obviously there are some general ways of insulting people obviously but there are some kind of 
what I want you to realize is that there are some differences, some like discrepancies in each language and each like uh, um, like each uh, culture, so that you, you sometimes you say some things and it comes off the wrong way. So what I want you to do is figure out like like broad categories of things that are hurtful to tell to people. Put yourself in that position if you were a ill-mannered person. This is a good exercise for you to do. Do that. Find like like some like common things that people that can could tell you over the phone that are hurtful, and then think about comebacks to those uh, insults, right? And you practice those. Practice those every single day. And what you fi start finding is that every time that you do your cold calling every single day, when you come across these. Because you practiced before you started your day, you it just it would like it's a it's like data points on your on your brain. It just comes out of your of your warehouse. Your brain needs to deal with the situation because you're kind of like in a, in a fight mode. And when you hear that, it, your brain gets ahead of you. Like you don't need to think about it because your brain immediately like comes comes uh, like answers back with the preconditioned response that you had regarding that specific type of insult. And the whole purpose of this is that when you are cold calling, because you're trying to pretty much serve people with your service, and your service might be useful. Doesn't matter. In my specific case is life insurance products. It might be like Kirby vacuum cleaners or real estate, whatever the case might be. But people are the same, right? And people's insecurities and bullies, you'll face them. It's it's inevitable. So the better you get at this, you'll start calming down because you'll start knowing how to deal with people. And this is a, I don't want to come off like the wrong way when I'm telling you this, but this is the only instance when you're talking to people, you need to have this mindset, not of being equal, but being superior. And once again, I don't want to come off like, uh, like sounding strange in this, but hear me out. People are going to benefit from the service that you are providing. Right, so they have absolutely no reason, right, to treat you bad. Right, so it's an honor for them to hear you, to hearing what you have to say because it will be helpful for their for their situation. If you are putting yourself in a position that you are inferior, right, people will have that perception over the phone. I had people call call me and they are nervous, right, but if I call call them like couple of days and they didn't know me, they would feel superior because it's just a matter of insecurity around people. Because people are not used to dealing with people over the phone because they haven't met them yet. So this is what I want for you to do is like feel yourself superior because this is kind of a trick that I use every single day to remind myself that they are not superior to you in any way. And actually it's the other way around. You're actually doing them a favor because you are serving them with a product. So when they start doing those shenanigans, you immediately put them in their places. And the way for you to do that is first-handly having practiced before, like before you start your day, like practice answering back when people are rude to you. That way, if they are correct, if they are like nice to you, you, you keep the conversation going, right? But if they come off track and start getting the bully way, like you put them in their places. This is one I wanted to uh, for you uh, for you to realize when you're doing your telemarketing because this this is really useful, and I find that when you start getting aggravated because you're dealing with these functional motherfuckers, you're getting like exhausted essentially, right? You start dealing with people differently. So when you have this perception, like when you like stop your day, then reboot and then think about it. Okay, I'm superior. I'm, de I'm delivering a product that is helpful to people, and I'm putting bullies in their places. And every time that you have this mindset when you go about and co-calling people that are not expecting you because they haven't typed in any lead form, so it's, it's a pure 100% pure cold call, you find that this is really useful because if it goes to the left, you know how to deal with it, right? It's like like nice people, like good vibe people, everything goes goes pristine clean. But if it comes off the other way, like everything is like off track and people start getting like a little bit like uh, sketchy, you will know how to deal with them. That way you can preserve yourself because essentially you're just delivering a service. You are hustling and trying to 
do an exchange between giving them a service and getting paid in return. Nothing wrong with that. If people do have a problem with that, you have to show them who's the boss. So be great, nothing else pays.